artists. I'm giving you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing this next week in class. Uh, you might remember this piece I was working on uh, in class last week. And this was my late, least favorite piece, so I thought I might um, start off with that one. And I've been sitting here this afternoon just kind of playing with my small pieces and trying to find where I'm going with them. And this is kind of my process. I've got the grease pencil, I had a Posca white pen, and I'm just kind of sketching out uh, what I think I might want to do. And I'm letting the painting that's already down there, the marks, the uh, colors, uh, the shapes that I have, kind of help guide me along. And I'm mixing up right now just a really transparent color. I'm using a Lizarin Crimson with some gloss medium, liquid gloss medium. And I, I'm not committed. This is a really good way to do it where you don't feel like you're going to lose anything. Um, because it's just a really transparent wash, really to help me find where I want to go with this and what my design might be. So um, here I am, I'm just adding some of the alizarin crimson in. And I still don't know at this point um, where exactly I'm going. I know I have a figure in the middle. And um, what's going to, to show that figure is all of the papers that I have underneath. So I'm negative painting. And for those of you who don't know what negative painting is, this is kind of what it is. I'm painting the background and I'm not actually painting the subjects. I'm going to let them speak for themselves with the papers that I have underneath. Now I'm taking one of my favorite things is a house paint and I have a real pale gray and I'm going to go over what I just did with the pale gray. And when I do this, I'm really careful not to come up and meet the edges um, and make perfectly clean little edges. I want this to look like a painting and like it was done by an artist's hand. And I, I like that alizarin crimson and some of the other colors that, that are underneath. So I'm going to kind of let them peek through. Um, the funny thing is you might realize, like that yellow that I'm painting around, when I added it on the painting during class, I really wasn't wild about it. But now I'm really liking the way it shows up with that alizarin crimson around it. So I'm just going to keep on finding my shapes and painting over uh, the transparent coat that I just put on and letting some other areas of color peek through to help me find my shape. And keep in mind, any of these shapes that I um, have up here may not be um, what ends up in the end, but right now I want to give myself the opportunity to hang on to them. Uh, and then if I want to let go of them later on, I could just paint over them. But for now, they're, they're here. And I keep that in mind as I'm painting along. 
what what's going to stay, what's I'm thinking might stay, and uh, and just covering up things that aren't working for the the basic design of the painting. I'm also using um, a large brush for this uh, th for this small painting. It's a num number 10 flat brush. I really love flat brushes. They have the very long bristles and they're squared off on the top and it gives you uh, the ability to load paint and put it on softly. A lot of places I just lightly brush over because I want to create some texture with all the stuff that's going down below that I layered on. Um, so I, it's really nice to handle a brush this size because it also keeps you from getting too dainty and too precise with what you're doing. Um, at this point, you shouldn't even be thinking about that. You're just kind of thinking about the big shapes and what you want uh, to be added into your painting. Okay, so this is a really good time why the paint is wet. The layer of uh, gray that I just put on is wet and it's soft and it's a really great time to go in and uh, make some marks. I added some stripes over there on the right hand side and now I've got a little pick um, and I can just go in and scrape into the paint and expose some of the color that's in the uh, that I added in with the transparent colors underneath. And now I'm just going to go in and scratch in some shapes. And I'm not being too careful. I'm just kind of dragging along um, and, and just kind of letting it do its own thing. Don't get too carried away. Um, but it's good to be able to have that extra element in your piece. So there you go. That is the next steps that I take on this little painting. And I've um, gone in now and added some transparent coats. I've added a neutral heavier coat over top of that that I could scratch into. And I've set myself up to come in and um, my next steps will start will be to start uh, finalizing this little piece. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up.